Okay, so I've, I've got my vape here, I've got my coffee, I've got my juice, right? So um, this is going to be, uh, uh, let's just say, a three, two or three part series where I'm discussing uh, the mental health services in Ireland um, with somewhat of a recovered uh, mind state, um, somewhat sensible. Uh, I'm a mental health patient and uh, part one is going to be uh, the mental, the standard type mental health hospital um, that I actually live close by to. Um, I live live right next door to it and I'm a patient of it. Um, I'm, in the, I'm in a rented house which is owned by a mental health charity so like they fund me this house and I just pay a small amount of rent or whatever. Um, Right, so basically um, I've been a patient of the mental health services for half of my life, basically since I was 15, I'm, I'm 32, 33 now. Uh, so over half my life I've been a patient of the mental health services um, because I have uh, drug-induced psychosis or I'm diagnosed with schizophrenia, but it's drug-induced, so um, there's that. So... Uh, the hospital I live next door to, um, which is in Sarsfield Court, it's also known as St. Stephen's Mental Health, St. Stephen's Psychiatric Hospital. Um, if you were a visitor, so if you were a, a sane person, if, the, if you have no problems, you'd walk in there, you'd be like, this is grand, you know, this is fine, this is brilliant. There's m m legion, there's... There's a ton of open, wide open space. Um, each individual unit, uh, there's there's different buildings around the place. Each individual one is a unit for different uh, aspects of mental health, like acute psychiatry, um, older patients, and uh, and uh, long term patients. And each each individual building around the ca campus is designated as different types of. Uh, Mental health, John. I was going to say genres, but different types of mental health issues. Um, so like as I was saying, as 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 a normal person walking in, you'd be fine with it, you know. Um, it's not it's not terribly run down or anything. It's not like there's there's very few leakage leaks, whatever. You know, it's like. It's a good enough place, you know, for the for if you're not mentally ill, it's fine. It's like a school or whatever, you know. It's kind of like a school or something, you know. It's it's not, it's nothing too fancy, but it's it's very it's it's good enough, you know. Um. However, when you're mentally ill, this the way the system is run can be quite uh frustrating and annoying. Um. Because uh. Well, like, uh, they can withhold you for uh, being sick or whatever. They can withhold you uh, involuntarily or they can withhold you voluntarily and tell you if you if you try and leave, then we're going to make you an involuntary patient. You know, that's another trick they use. They, they, they hold you voluntarily. So you're a voluntary patient. But they tell you if you try to leave we're going to make you an involuntary patient and then you're going to be kept here, you know? Um, then they've got suicide watch, which is like, or, or harm watch, I think they call it or something, which is like the most frustrating thing in the world for somebody like me who doesn't want to associate with anyone. I don't want to talk to anyone, you know? I've no interest in other people whatsoever. So like it's being on harm watch or suicide watch, I think it's called, um, which is when you're trouble, trouble, causing trouble around the place, or they think that you're gonna, you're gonna hurt yourself, somebody else, or one of the patient, patients, or doctors, or if you're gonna do more damage to property or something, they're gonna, they're gonna like um, designate somebody p different, different. They're gonna desert, designate a bunch of nurses um, to take shifts, watching you for twelve hour periods, and they never. They guaranteed they never leave your side. Only in the case that you need to use the toilet, they'll stand outside the cubicle. Other than that, they are with you 24 hours a day, right beside you. Like, 
there you know what i mean like they they do not leave your side right there right beside you two feet away like two feet away is too far from them you know they are right beside you all the time 24 hours a day while you're sleeping while you're awake worse than santa claus do you know what i mean and the only time you're allowed any the only time you're allowed out of their sight is if you want to pee or poo and then you're in the cubicle they're standing right outside it um and then they'll keep an eye on you every step of the way um so i've been on that two or three times um and that's probably the most frustrating part to it is is being on i don't think it's suicide watch because i never attempted suicide i think it might be Harm watch or something they call it. Like harm as in hurt something. Yeah. Self harm watch or something. I don't, I'm not too sure. Um, I think I might have destroyed some property there or something. Or shouted at somebody and got, got put on it. You know. Um, so being a normal person walking in there. You're going to be fine. But being when you're a patient. It's it's all frustrating you know. Um, like I. When I'm when I'm when I'm ill, I have a lot of problems with like believing that I'm being persecuted and guilt and um, hearing people talking about me and paranoia. Like, is this person following me? All that kind of stuff. Um, are these cars here because they want to wind me up? And I have a problem with like anger issues. So like, I have a problem where I think everyone's trying to wind me up. You know, they're 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 setting out with a plan to wind me up. You know, they they want to make me angry and I've got to deal with being angry and sitting there and fuming and not doing anything because if I do something, I'm fucked. Um, so, like, I, I have a lot of problems that way. So, like, um, being in around people is no good. You know, I don't I, I'm not I'm not the kind of mentally mental person that wants to sit there and be like, well, you know, here's my problem. Here's how here's how it makes me feel. All that kind of stuff. I'm the I'm the kind of person that's just like fuck off away from me. Get the fuck away from me. I do not want to talk to a single person. You know what I mean? I just want people gone. I want them out of my sight, out of my hearing. I want people gone. Do you know what I mean? And being in a hospital when you're like that is work is really fucking bad. It's it's horrible because you're always around somebody. When when you're in the bedroom, there's like eight other guys or something and they're all they're all making noises in their sleep they're all fucking staying awake talking to themselves reading books out loud and all that kind of stuff and um, and some of them they might have a laptop or something they're like playing with fucking F fl studio or something you're just like shut the fuck up you know um so like all that noise all that it's it's all it's all to me when I'm when I'm sick, that's really confusing and it's infuriating to be around people like that. So, um, it's it's not a good environment for me, you know. Um, for a lot of people that are mentally ill are that way. Um, and like when you're in the canteen, everyone's a loud. E every one of them are a loud eater. They're all loud eaters. <laughs> the loud eater always sits next to you. Is what I mean to say. The loud eater always sits next to you. You know. Um, yeah, so the food, the food is, I wouldn't say it's top notch at all now. Uh, you get like chicken nuggets and sweet chili sauce and chips and all that kind of stuff. Do you know what I mean? Like canteen food. It's like, um, there was a direct provision thing recently where they were complaining about their food. We, we eat that in the hospital, you know, no, nobody complains. Um, you get like sausages and bacon and chicken nuggets and different things like that. You can, you, you are allowed to order vegan food. Like I wasn't vegan while I was there. I'm vegan now, but while I was there, I was a meat eater. I just eat what they gave me, you know, but there, there's other people there that had like vegan diets and they're like getting their own special meals and stuff. They just like, there's a tray on top of the, on top of the little, uh, unit that they bring in they they bring in a unit in through the doors and they're like here's your food you know you stand it you, you queue and get it there were certain people vegan diets so they like had little pots of uh vegan food for the especially for the patient you know because it's kind of um it's, i think it's a 
it's a violation of human rights not to allow certain dietary uh certain dietary specifications to be catered for you know so they have to do it you know but um yeah there's a rec room so like you've got your recreation room that's where people like sit around and talk or whatever it's where like families will meet from outside and they're coming to see a patient they'll like meet in the recreation room or the meeting room right beside it if you want private if you, if you want privacy you've got a meeting room but if you if you want to just chat like comfortable comfortable or whatever you, you got the uh recreation room and there's a tv in there uh usually stuck in all uh rt1 or whatever but it's not worth watching you know but um Yeah, uh, that's just the, that's the unit I'm 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 usually in, which is the uh, acute psychiatry unit, you know. But uh, that means like people that need attention right now and fast. Um, but I think I think I've described it quite well. Uh, then outside there's there's a whole lot of green area. There's a whole lot of grass. There's a few trees. There's a little uh, walkway with um through the forestry and all that shit, there's like, there's unit, I, th I can't remember if it's unit eight, I think is the, the massive unit. That's like a huge, like skyscraper building. That's like four floors high. And that's like, uh, that's got a vending machine and a little shop in it with, with one, where the, pa the patients sometimes work and stuff like, uh, it's got different floors for different sub things. Like one floor is for doctors, one floor is for, long-term patients and all that kind of stuff and then there's like i believe there's a secure unit in there as well but i've never seen it and yes there's it's quite a big facility you know it is really quite big but i'm living here in a, in a house right beside it as as a mental patient you know with the charity that's thankfully lending me this house or renting it out to me for the time being but Part two is going to be of this video is going to be a description of the secure unit, which I was in called Carrigmore. And that was a fucking hellhole, you know. Um, so I'm going to be describing Carrigmore on part two, which I, I, I went there because uh, I trashed a drug cart in in Southfield Court in St. Stephen's Hospital. I I. I Grabbed the drug trolley and I just threw it all over the place, you know, I just threw it on the ground and all this, all the medication spilled out and they were like, you have to go, <laughs> so you're going to the security unit, you know what I mean, that was, that was the end straw for them, but that's going to be part two, okay, so uh, like, comment, subscribe and uh, I'll talk to you again.